You are welcome. You are welcome to the Messiah Channel, a prophetic end time ministry dedicated to the end times. In this video today, uh, we are focusing on United States, America, and we particularly are taking an interest in the elections and the upcoming American elections, presidential elections for 2024. And we are looking at what is behind the scenes. And when we say behind the scenes, are things that are happening that you don't see with your natural eyes unless the Lord reveals what is behind the scenes to you. And people are preparing for it. Politicians are preparing for the elections. Uh, citizens are preparing for the elections. The world is interested in the elections because the world has always been fascinated by the uh, United States. And of course, Lucifer is also interested in whatever is happening. After all, is Lucifer not the king of this world? Is he not the prince of this world? Uh, is he not involved in the kingdoms of this world? And the Lord is also uh, watching. The angels of the Lord are watching uh, because it is God who created the universe. And he selects and he distills. Uh, he can change the system even when the change seems impossible. And this is how we look at the 2024 uh, presidential elections. And when I say elections, um, I will probably say selection uh, because behind the scenes, uh, people are selected. And that is particularly true with uh, the United States. And if you don't understand, then you ask yourself, how come that out of 45 American presidents, one third of them, one third of them uh, were selected from a particular uh, secret society. And that secret society is the skull and bones a secret society that emerged at Yale University and that has produced one third of American uh, presidents. So you can talk about election, but it is selection. It's selection because so many things are behind the scenes. And you can ask yourself, how come uh, the founding fathers of uh, America, um, when those who wrote the Constitution, those who signed the Declaration of Independence, their background, the society that they uh, were involved in, how come most of them were members uh, of the Freemason? And you ask yourself, how come the first president of America, George Washington, uh, was a member of the Freemason? And then you ask yourself, how come when uh, he came to be inaugurated at the time of his inauguration, he wore a Freemason regalia? You ask yourself. And then you ask a question that needs to be asked. What is America's destiny in the end times? And when you understand America's destiny in the end times, and then you understand why America's election is very, very important. American destiny as it is tied with the new world order, inscribed on America's dollar bill, part of the great seal of America. The numbers and the letters, the words and the phrases, novus order seculum, a new 
uh, world order. And when Joe Biden came into power in uh, 2020, he made a statement, and the statement is that America will lead the world in bringing the new world order. And Joe Biden was also very emphatic in saying that America, America's culture um, supports transgenderism. And in 2024, March 2024, a day was set aside for remembrance of transgenderism. And if the angels in heaven are watching, and they will tell the Lord, our Lord, our Lord, what you said has come true because you said pray out to you coming into the world to, to judge the world the world will be like Sodom and Gomorrah and you have seen America being a Sodom being a Gomorrah um, you will see the alphabet culture and being promoted and being promoted by the United States and 2024 will not change it because that will be a continuation and I believe that regardless of whoever wins the election 2024 it will not change much America has already turned her mind her heart her ways away from God has already taken the Sodom road alphabet culture has taken over the culture as recommended to those who fear the name of the Lord as found in Leviticus as found in the Ten Commandments as found in the Acts of the, the, the Apostles as found in the Bible written by the prophets of the Most High America has already deviated from the way of the Lord and has become a wicked nation. And so the 2024 election is an election being going to be conducted in a wicked nation. And when we talk about a wicked nation, I will take you to Psalm um, 9 verse um, 17. The wicked nation is set for destruction, is set for hell. The wicked is set for hell. And there's a psalm judgment, a judgment for those who are wicked, judgment for a nation that forgets God. And so the lesson is a lesson that is not based upon who is right who is wrong in the name of the Lord the lesson is based upon human choices and a lot of people will vote for one party because that party will promote their ideology that party will allow certain things to happen and they will vote for the other party because the leader is their idol and here we are still talking about idolatry babylon was destroyed because of idol worship and so the elections 2024 election is about idols american idols and those who matter in the eyes of human beings is not based upon those who matter in the eyes of the lord and when a nation deviates from the precepts of God, the nation is lost and the nation cannot be saved. So 2024 uh, elections. Is there something behind the scenes? Yeah, there's something behind the scenes because 2019, in a spectacular vision, I saw both uh, President Obama and President Donald Trump. When Trump was the president in 2019, I saw Obama and Trump in a vision. Uh, why I will not go into details, 
I would say that both Obama and Trump have supernatural powers. They are not ordinary people. And so let no one deceive you. And the vision that I, I saw Obama and Trump together, and my conclusion is that um, there is something going on behind the scenes and you should not be deceived because you think party A is different from party B, but in the kingdom of darkness, uh, they are working in unison, they are working uh, together. And you need a spiritual discernment to be able to uh, differentiate the darkness from uh, the light. And so 2024 elections, um, who comes in, and you have to remember that the party that comes in doesn't come in as a party. The party comes in because there are forces controlling that political party. There are key players who control that political party. There are people who run America from behind the scenes. And you cannot understand American politics without looking at the occult history of America. You cannot understand American politics without looking at those who control America from behind the scenes. In the dark, secret, occult realms, you cannot understand American presidency unless you understand that come January 2025, at the time when the American uh, president will be inaugurated, as it has always been the case, uh, the Freemason conduct an occult ritual. The purpose of that ritual is to make sure that the God, G, the small G of Freemason, inhabits the president of the United States. And because of that, when we're talking about the 2024 elections, uh, it goes beyond who will be on the presidential uh, ticket. Ultimately, it is the God or the Freemason who will rule America. And because America, I believe, is the Babylon spoken of in the book of Revelation. And it doesn't matter who is on the ticket. The Supreme Court of the United States just um, had a ruling, the ruling about presidential immunity. Why some people think that it is an attempt to side with Donald Trump, and I believe that they are preparing the powers of the President of the United States. They are pre preparing the powers of a king, a king, a monarch who will have unfettered powers, uh, powers uh, that are not controlled by law because you will be immune from uh, criminal uh, prosecution for what he does. And God forbid if he commits genocide uh, in the name of presidential powers, he will be immune. And so that immunity uh, decree hammered down by the Supreme Court of the United States is part of an effort to embolden and empower the king of Babylon, uh, United States. Donald Trump, July 20th, 2018, I had a vision. And the vision came spectacularly because I had a three day fast regarding the new world order. And I saw Donald Trump in a, in a room and he was signing a document and the name of the document was the Real World Order. It was very strange. And when he left the room in the vision and those people who were in the room showed the document to me, they gave me the document and they told me, you read what document that has been signed. You read the document that has been signed by Donald Trump. Please don't let Donald Trump know that we gave the document to you. What's the implication? The implication is that the document is a very bad document. It's a wicked document. 
and it was signed by Donald Trump. It's a secret document and his people, the people behind him do not want Trump to know that the document has been given to me for me to uh, look at it. I'm not trying to take sides, but even if you look at the other side too, uh, if you look at Joe Biden, uh, what he has said and what he has done, marriage equality law in violation of the law of the Most High, transgenderism, transgender crusade in violation of the Bible. America will lead the new world order. Uh, he came from his mouth. And so, is there any difference between the blue and the red? Kamala Harris is in, in the picture, vice president. And I was watching a video by William Braham, an American prophet. And the vision came in the 1960s. He was talking about the time when America will elect a female vice president or a president. And at the inauguration, that female president or vice president will be wearing a purple dress. 2021, on the day of inauguration. And you saw uh, what happened. You saw a lady by name Kamala Harris being sworn in as the vice president of the United States. And you saw the dress that she wore that day, a purple, a purple dress. Something behind the scenes, yes. And so what is the future of Kamala Harris? Is it a vice president or a potential president? And what will happen? in 2025 will america change or will it be the same are we being fooled after all is it is, is it not the freemason that controls america's political machine and does it matter whether it is red or blue and what matters is that the days are coming and they are preparing America for the destiny that America was founded for. And I believe that destiny uh, is not palatable because America will be very crucial in the establishment of the kingdom of the Antichrist and will lead the world into uh, the tribulation. Now, since 1962, America has led the war against God, deleting God's name from prayers in public schools. It happened in the case of Angel versus Vitaly, a New York case where it was forbidden, or it has, uh, it is forbidden for school children to say prayers and mention the name of God in the prayers. That's the law in America. And America has led the world in a war against God. And America continues to do that. Is it not the nation that decreed that her embassies should fly LGBT flag? Was it not Kamala Harris who was despised dispatched by Joe Biden uh, to go to African nations to convince them to support LGBT, that is support the laws of Sodom and Gomorrah. And so what future do we have if she's on a ticket, if she becomes a president, what future is that? Are they not preparing for Sodom and Gomorrah in the last days? Are they not fulfilling prophecy? 
And so the people that you see on TV, they are related to things going on behind the scenes. And unless the Lord reveals the secrets to you, you never know it. But the secret has been revealed. And the secret is that they are preparing America for the new world order. And don't let anybody deceive you, whether it's, uh, it, it, it comes through the red or comes through the blue. America is America. It's America of Abed Spike. It's America of the Freemasons. It's America of the occult realm. It's America governed by secret occult societies. And this is where we are. America, elections coming at a time when geopolitical conditions in the world have become a politic, a, a, a apocalyptic, a specter of nuclear war, a time when international politics is being changed. Americans' hegemony is being dismantled and they are in disarray. The kingdom is in this array. And prophecy is being unfolding. It has been unfolding before our eyes. And so American elections 2024 is not an ordinary election, particularly at this time. Why? Because the final trumpet of heaven has already sounded and based upon the revelation I saw on August. 27, 2013. And so the dots need to be identified. We need to connect the dots. And the conclusion is that it is not an ordinary election. It's an election with so many variables, prophetic variables. And we don't have much time at all to prepare. If you are watching this video, you need to prepare for the narrow road that leads to salvation. If you are on the wide road, get out of it. The road that has been taken by so many people, they are following the culture, they are following the, the mainstream. They have blended with the masses. They've lost their light because the little light that they have, they've joined the dark crowd. We're in the end of this. And these are the conditions that will tell you that we are in the last days. And so when we see upheavals in American elections, and don't let anybody fool, fool you and say that this party is better than the other party. You need to look for a party of God. And between both parties, you don't, find, you don't find any party of God. They are all the same. The kingdoms of this world are under the control of Lucifer. And they play games. And there's a lot of deception. They will deceive you with the words that come from their mouth. But when they come in, they will know the true colors of those people that you select to be your leaders. When the last days, Revelation 1 verse 7 says that he's coming with the clouds of heaven and every eye will see him, including those who pierce him. Is Yeshua, is the Messiah. The final trumpet of heaven has sounded for those who have ears. Let them hear what the Spirit is saying to the saints. American election 2024. So many things are behind the scenes, and don't let anybody fool you. America will fulfill the destiny that was given to her in the last days. And they will produce the Antichrist, and they will lead the world to commit fornication and kings of the earth or community fornication of her. America will be judged. 
The judgment is coming and the handwriting is on the wall. Thank you for watching uh, this video.